How can you land an internship in 2019? Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. Today I wanna to help you guys find an internship because now is the best time to do that. As always, before we begin today's video, I wanna let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Cybrary. If you guys are looking to get more training in IT, I highly recommend Cybrary. There's a link in the description below. They can help you out with some more training. They'll get you geared up towards a lot of the different certifications within the IT world. These certifications will help gear you up towards making a bigger impact in the IT world. Make sure you guys check out the link in the description below. Use the coupon code ITCQ50, save 50% off that premium membership. At the time of making this video, it's towards the end of May, which is really pushing it. However, some companies may be desperate for interns or they may be really discovering that they need some interns in their organizations. So the very first thing that you guys can do is go over to indeed.com, put in IT internship, filter it by your location, and then you can search and see if there are any internships that are close to you. I went and searched, I didn't filter it by a location, but I did find plenty of internship opportunities available. Some of them show that they are unpaid. However, finding an internship opportunity is going to be clutch for you guys. What this is going to do is give you experience on your resume, and that is going to be greatly beneficial towards you guys finding an opportunity once you are looking to get into the real world of IT. So once you get the experience behind that certification, behind your education, you're really gonna be solid once you get out there into that real world. The next thing that you're gonna to have to do that's really gonna put more legwork on you is reaching out to your friends, your family, your parents, and even your parents' friends who are working in larger business organizations or even sometimes smaller business organizations that have IT departments, smaller IT teams that require some need for internships or just help within their IT departments. What you're gonna to have to do is essentially go door to door, pick up the phone and ask these people if they need any type of help. What you're gonna do here is say, hey, I'm looking to get into the IT field and I'm wondering if you guys are requiring any help, any type of internship opportunities available. I'm really wanting to get into this field. I'm looking to maybe volunteer my work. Maybe I'm looking to work for a low wage because I'm looking to get some experience. Do you guys have any type of work available that I can help you with? Maybe you're gonna be re-imaging some computers. Maybe you're gonna be cleaning some things up within their environment. Maybe you're cleaning up shared drives and things like that. You're probably gonna be doing a lot of minimal work, nothing too exciting. But what the purpose of this is again, guys, is getting experience on your resume. So another thing that we can mention here, and it's something that you're not going to wanna do, and we briefly kind of talked about this and we mentioned one key word here is that you're not going to get paid and that's volunteer work. You guys can reach out to local nonprofit organizations, reach out to your churches, your YMCAs, any type of nonprofit organizations and ask them if they have any type of volunteer work available. It's really important that you guys actually reach out to them directly face to face and offer your help and your services. Again, this is stuff that you can put on your resume that is gonna be greatly helpful towards your future. Whether it's paid or unpaid, the most important part of this factor here is the experience that will pay for itself tenfold in the future. Another area that we didn't mention that I always try to talk about is school districts. They are always trying to hire help during the summer. Make sure you guys reach out to your local school districts and see if they have any need for help during their summer refreshes. You'll find often that school districts will be refreshing their school images. Maybe they're pulling in new equipment. They're just doing cleaning. There's a lot going on in school districts during the summer because there's no kids or staff generally in the buildings so they can get a lot of work done on the computer systems that are in those environments. So these are a few options that you guys can use to get experience, get those internships and volunteer work knocked out of the way during this summer. I hope this really helps you guys and you reach out to some of these people and put your best foot out there. Reach out to people, guys. Don't be afraid. The worst that you can hear is no. And honestly, you're gonna hear that a lot in your lives, so get used to it. It's not a bad thing. You have to learn to accept no as an answer. Move on from it go to the next person and overcome. You're gonna hear no, and that's okay. You're gonna hear a lot of no's before you hear a yes. So make sure that you guys are approachable. Make sure that you put on your best attire and you have a smile on your face 
and you are ready to work. Because these businesses want somebody who is eager to work and willing to do everything that they can for their organization. That's all I got for you guys in today's video. If you have any other comments, questions, concerns, make sure you guys hit me up in the comments below. As always, take it easy.